What's up guys, Cody from Nonstop Editing here, and I'm going to start off by apologizing because, like I said in my last video, I've been very inactive, and this is my first tutorial in quite a while, so I'm kind of excited to do this actually, and I've been waiting for, till I had time to really do it, and yeah, so, I finally had time this week, or tonight, but anyway, so what I'm going to be showing you to do, how to do today is kind of like how to make your own predator effect. Now, it, it's not limited to anything like the predator effect but it's just basically a simple overlay made in Photoshop as you can see here um, turn this to best full and as you can see here just kind of a simple thing like a crosshair almost and obviously this is very basic you can go way way beyond what I did here like make it look like you're wearing goggles or looking through binoculars or whatever but I'm just going to show you just how to save everything in Photoshop and kind of how to create it and how to do new projects in order to do something like this in Photoshop. So you're just going to have Photoshop open and then something like this. You're just going to go File, New. When you get in here, you're going to make sure the width is 1280 and the height is 720. And obviously I'm assuming that you're recording in 720p HD because that's just what most people record in and you so but if you that's not what you record in change it to whatever your the dimensions of your video is so just hit OK and I'll create something now what you're gonna need what you're gonna have to be sure to do is you're gonna see this background layer or whatever you're just gonna hold the alt key and double click it and it will change it from a background with a lock to layer zero and you're just gonna ignore that for right now but you're gonna do layer new and then layer and you're gonna just do name this whatever you want I'm just gonna call it like base you don't even really need to name it but now you'll sh you should have layer one or base or whatever you named that last one and layer zero delete layer zero so you should have checkerboards okay and if you don't have checkerboards, that's going to be a problem because the checkerboard is the main the main thing for this whole this whole project now this is when uh, a background with Photoshop is going to come way into handy or way hand is going to become very handy. You could do quite a few different things if you wanted to, like if you have the right brushes, you could do like paint splatter in the corner or blood splatter I'll turn this blue actually and yeah so you, you just design imagine that the checkerboard is your video because it basically is going to be and obviously this is not animated or anything boom I'm just gonna kinda do some paint splatter boom ooh maybe even put this in the middle kinda might look interesting but yeah obviously this is not very good just kinda of mess around with a little and there's a, there's a lot of different things you can do and I'll I'm gonna have more of an advanced tutorial after 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 this but yeah so you've got this you've got you've got this or whatever I don't know uh, you're just gonna click <clears throat> Save as, or control or shift control S, after you've created your overlay, and you want to make remember make sure the background is checkerboards, and it's going to say file name. I'll just call this test, and then format. This is where it becomes very important. You're gonna open this up, and you have to make it a PNG because PNG automatically saves the checkerboards as and uh, like recognizes it as an alpha channel or whatever which basically means that it's going to make the checkerboard parts transparent so just save mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna lower this down I'm gonna delete the crosshairs I currently have here but all then you have to do is just take the file you created and you can even see on the desktop that the background is see-through and you can only see the parts that I painted you just gotta drag it in and as you can see there, it's just kind of a a cool little 
little thing you can do with your videos you could use this to make a watermark you could really do whatever you want with it make blood splatters make like huds it's it's basic basically there's no limit to what you can do besides I guess the only limit is how good you are with Photoshop so the better you are with Photoshop the more you're gonna be able to do and like I said before I've been very inactive so hopefully I'll be doing some some more tutorials some some more stuff I'm hoping to do at least one video a week I know that's probably not very much but I don't know if I said this yet but I've been extremely busy so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat simple tutorial and I've also been working kind of a little bit on a pack for this or I had an idea to work on a pack like this just kind of some HUD different HUD type stuff overlay things and I thought you guys might kind of like that but anyway thanks for watching guys leave a like comment favorite and subscribe and I'll see you later